Hello, Wednesday, and we're on Hebrews chapter 11, and Jeff's going to do that today. Good morning. Yeah, if you're viewing in the morning, otherwise, good afternoon or good evening. But anyway, to get on with things, uh, we're looking at Hebrews 11, which is a famous chapter in the Bible, or one of the famous chapters in the Bible, uh, and it's titled uh, The Heroes of Faith. And it lists many of the Old Testament worthies that we read about in the Old Testament and how they lived by faith, practiced faith, and uh, obeyed God when he gave them difficult instructions. So we can learn from them. We can always learn from other people when they've been somewhere where we haven't, if you know what I mean, have been tested in certain ways and have come out triumphant. And that's certainly true of the heroes of faith in the Old Testament. They were, of course, human beings. And although they pleased God because they were faithful to God's word and they did what he told them to do, there was also incidents in their lives where they uh, didn't obey God and they obeyed their own instincts and desires and fouled up. So in some ways, that's some comfort to us that uh, you can be a hero of faith even though you're not perfect. So all of us can be heroes of faith uh, because as far as I'm aware, none of us are perfect. Certainly not in this household. <laughs> but anyway, uh, about faith. Faith is important. Why is it important? Well, first and foremost, it tells us that uh, faith uh, is important to God because without faith, it's impossible to please him. We read that in uh, verse 6 here, that it's impossible to please God without faith. So faith is something we need. We need uh, for our daily life, we need for the decisions we make, and we need for uh, the purpose of sharing him and his love with other people. It's all an act of faith. The Christian, it's called the Christian faith, and it's called the Christian faith because it's exercised and comes into being through faith. But then again, how do we get faith? A lot of things that we um, look to and desire, we have a hope for, but hope is different from faith. Hope is uh, something that's of, of the mind, really, whereas faith is a, is a heart thing, and it's much deeper than hope. But also, um, we can get faith by just by trusting God. Um, there is a verse there that uh, tells us that uh, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So faith comes inherently in the word that God speaks to us. So if he tells us to do something or to be somewhere or to share with someone, it's because he's with us and he wants us to do it, but to do it alongside him, drawing on his strength, his ability, even his words to uh, share his life with somebody else. So... Uh, Faith is something that's intrinsic to the Christian life, really. It's also, you can see, it as a gift of God in the list in 1 Corinthians 12 of the gifts of the Spirit. And faith is listed as a gift of the Spirit to us. So we also have the confidence of knowing that if we are possessors of the Holy Spirit, which we are if we're a child of God, then... Uh, we can expect the gift of faith to be given to us when we're confronted in various situations that require an active faith to bring God's purposes about. And that is regard, can be regarding to a lot of things in life, whether it's direction, whether it's healing for someone, whether we're called on to raise the dead. Um, we haven't done that yet, not in my experience. But uh, anyway... Uh, we were told by Jesus, or the disciples were told, and we are latter disciples, that uh, they were to go out, preach the gospel, heal the sick, and raise the dead. So we have to believe it's possible. And to believe anything is possible requires faith. Faith is what energises the word of God and gives us the power to perform it. Not to make us look good, but so that God can be glorified and receive the glory and the adoration that comes from mankind. So God's the boss, 
God's got the power, God has all authority, and he can release that authority through us if we believe. Faith is believing, believing in the active power of God, and uh, that God works his purpose out through those who are his followers. That's you and me. Let's practice faith today. Whatever we're doing, wherever we're going, let's know that if we're confronted with a situation that's beyond our human ability, that we can draw on faith and allow the Holy Spirit to uh, increase our faith so that we can perform it in the name of God and for the glory of God. Bless you today.